Okay, so I'm at home right now and I should be on the lake because I'm fishing a tournament tomorrow morning. I don't know if I'm gonna fish one on Watts Bar yet or Chickamauga, but I probably should have went to Chick today and graft and probably fish the tournament on Chick tomorrow, but I think I'm leaning more towards going to Watts Bar. I've only ever been in that lake one time and that was for a BFL. I made a video of it. Y'all probably saw it if y'all follow the channel very closely. And tomorrow will be the second day ever on the lake. There's the volunteer team trail. I'm going to make sure I'm eligible. I'm going to try to talk to somebody and make sure that I'm, there's no stipulation about you can't fish any 1500 by in tournaments or something like that. So we're going to make sure we're good, rig up a couple rods, and probably go to Watts Bar. So I'm feeling it. Let's go do something. Hopefully we catch a big bag. Found a few places on Google Earth that look kind of, kind of sneaky. Might be able to get in there and actually do something. So that's the plan as of right now. Well, can you guess which tournament we went to? Obviously, the lake I have the least amount of experience on. It's the most fun that way, ain't it? We at Watts Bar today. I actually got to dig a hoodie out, man. I got up here, got to register for this tournament, and it is dang. It's not really cold. It's like 58, but feels cold anyways after how hot it's been recently. But I put a hoodie on anyways. Got a game plan, stay shallow, throw a frog, flip, throw a swim jig, skip some docks. That's what we're doing all day. See if we can get lucky and somehow catch like 22 pounds and win this sucker. Uh, gonna be tough bites shouldn't be too hard to get but catching the ones over four pounds is gonna be very very key in this tournament we need a couple of five pounders and then some four so we'll be good if we do that stay tuned it's gonna be a fun day all right it's almost time for blast off we put in, in the, at Tom Fuller Park and we're island out to the main river to blast off I like that a lot I always like whenever tournaments do that I think that's the optimal way to do it I hate whenever we're blasting off at Dayton and we blast off at the Dayton boat dock and we idle and we go out and we gotta idle through blue water, whatever it's called. So on out to the main river, definitely the way to go. I'm getting excited now, doing my thing all day. I've never been up river, that's where we're going all day today. I got five rods, it's all my it's flipping, a jig, a frog, a chatterbait, and a swim jig. So what else could you ask for? I guess a few bites on each one of them is it. short the other day. There's a good one. Smash that dang frog too, man. Oh, 60 pound K9 braid don't play. Same place the last one came from. I think I like four short ones today. 
I didn't know if I was going to catch a short fish at all today because this lake's got some pretty good quality in it. I only caught four. I saw him come out of the water and I thought he was a big one. Maybe a keeper. Nope. I saw him jump out of the water and grab it and I thought he was a big one. So with these today. number two But when I was swinging him around out there, I did not think he was a keeper. That was probably dumb. But all the way that ends well, I guess. Look at the side on him. Number three. Fourteen and a half. Ow. That was a good one. That was a two and a quarter, probably. Damn. All right, we're idling back in a little sneak hole now. I found a place on Google Earth that looked really, really good. Never been in there. I've got three. I lost one that I kind of needed. He's not um, big enough really, really where I needed to weigh him in, but he is one. I only got three, and he was a two, two, two and a quarter. So I'm going to go back in here, hopefully catch up some good ones. I, if I could leave here with after catching three close to three pounds that'd be have me in good shape so let's get back here and try to get one get a few out of here at least Shorty again.
Hey. Number four. suck we had 10 pounds and 7 ounces caught a nice little frog first thing thought it might could do something never worked out everything that I tried just didn't really work some things that I tried worked better than I actually thought but I lost a bunch of fish I only lost one big one but I just had a bad day everything just went poorly um, didn't make the correct adjustments that I should have made. I feel like I was in a, I just wasted some time. You know, it just, it, it just didn't work out. If I would have caught, you know, a couple big ones early, that just makes it where the rest of the day just flows better. But I just kind of felt like I was behind almost all day, you know, because I, my first four or five stops didn't work out. And then I was moving to plan B, then plan C, and then, you know, it just, it was, it was tough. But as always, somebody caught them. 21 pounds i don't not very many people are catching a ton of fish some people are catching you know big numbers of fish but most people are catching seven fish a day you know all day so it's just you know you got to get a couple of those big ones and obviously fishing shallow is not the best way to catch a big bag right now but i thought that i had found enough where if everything went right i could catch a big bag and nothing went right so we didn't catch a big bag at all had fun though I always like fishing tournaments it's just it's so much fun it's, it's disappointing whenever you do bad and I did pretty poorly today I do you know you do bad all the time most of the time you're gonna do bad because to me doing good is like in this tournament I'd have been happy with like fifth fifth or more I'd have been happy so you're gonna do worse than that a lot a lot of the time so you just kind of got to go with it enjoy the good and it was fun you know that dang frog bite was just about enough to pay the entry fee you know so it's a fun day but i'm 
done fishing for a few days, I think. We're gonna go uh, do something else. But as always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate y'all guys watching. All the people that came to me today at the uh, weigh-in or any, at any point today, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I try to talk to every single person and good luck. I'm sure all y'all beat me today because I didn't make it too hard on y'all, but see y'all.